This is what these guys do. You show them like direct proof. Yeah, here's hundreds of hours of infield. Oh, it's all fake. Here's me with a great physique. Oh, you're still fat, can't have smashed assholes. Okay. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to address the incel troll that goes by Black Pill Truth 2.0, okay? First of all, this fucking coward loser can never show his face, okay? He, he runs around preaching Black Pill, Black Pill, Black Pill, it's probably some fucking little, you know, creature in his basement, okay? Number one, challenge issued to Black Pill Truth. Show your fucking face, you coward loser. Okay, number two, he was my biggest fanboy when I was attacking all the red pill guys. And now, since I said black pill's trash, which it is, and it's completely fucking stupid, then he's gonna come and, and turn on me. Okay, first of all, no one gives a shit about this guy. He has like two or three K subs, completely irrelevant. Waste all his time trying to troll everyone. Okay, but I wanna go over this email thread that I received uh, when I went back and forth with him, and you, you guys can can make your own judgments based on that. Okay, before we continue, please subscribe below if you have not already. Press the notification bell for alerts of new videos every single day. And if you want to master the seduction game and get very, 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 very good, very fast, we're churning out advanced guys week after week after week, jump on a free 30 minute call with me and I'll show you what I can do for you, okay? So, Black Pill Truth emailed me and said, unblock Black Pill Truth 2.0 from your channel. If you're gonna talk smack, you smash can of assholes. Okay, that's a, a reference to Richard Cooper's uh, joke there. Okay, and, and in response, I put up this picture here which shows I'm in terrific shape. And we'll, we'll put that up on the screen to make it more clear. But I said, listen, uh, slur word, my physique is great and chicks love it. I don't care what some slur incel says. You are a massive loser. I spent the past 15 years of my life banging hot girls all around the world and living like a rock star. You spent it like a miserable slur troll, being bitter and weak, trying to flex your beta energy on the internet to pretend to be cool. The black pill is objectively massively wrong, and I have thousands of empirical examples to the contrary. That is the funniest part to me, that you are objectively wrong, okay, yet clueless about that, so you waste a whole bunch of your time trying to convince everyone to give up. What a total retard you are. Find a new hobby. P.S. I attached my physique pic taken two days ago. You can call me short along with your smash can of assholes, dumb words, but all that comes out of your mouth is useless dog shit. Keep trying to be cool. Okay, now here's this dude. LMAO, you sound butthurt by my comments. That's your peak physique on TRT. You're showing up, no, it's not my peak physique, but I'm in plenty good shape, okay? I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder. Chicks love my physique, I love my physique. I don't give a fuck what some fucking troll says on the internet. I just think it's funny because he won't show his face. He says, let's not forget where you got the majority of your information from how you, how you balls that up, bumbling through the information. When are you going to start suing people then? Or are you full of shit like you always are? There wouldn't have been an issue if you hadn't made your shitty, shitty video. Meanwhile, you look smacks to improve your success. Okay, the stuff that I did recently with hair transplant and teeth whitening, I was already at 1350 lays, 1,350 lays. They're like, oh, you look smacks to get success. No, I already banged 1,350 girls. The majority of the time through the game, I was very skinny, okay? I, I, was, I was fairly underweight, okay? And then there was no looks maxing done whatsoever. And the fact that I've gotten thousands and thousands of clients, extreme success, regardless of their looks, is testament to the fact that the game is the largest part of the equation. That doesn't mean that looks don't matter, that's a stupid thing to claim. That's what RSD claimed as a rip-off scam marketing tactic. It's just that looks are a much smaller part of the equation and it's mostly a threshold thing. Don't be massively obese. Don't be ignoring basic hygiene. Okay, don't be uh, having a, a terrible haircut or wearing fucking Walmart clothing or let your beard grow out of, out of control. Okay, um, let's see here. Now he's saying game is a load of bullshit. It doesn't even make any sense. As I've said time and time and time again. Are there better texts to send than others? Yes, of course. Are there better ways to run your cold approach interactions in night game and day game than others? Yes, of course. Are there better ways to escalate than others? Yes, of course. Are there better ways to set up your online profile than others and to do your online game messaging? Yes, of course. Are there better ways to run your dates than others? Yes, of course. Are there better ways to do your closing sequence at the house so that you're not jumping ahead and skipping steps, yes, of course. Is there better strategies to retain the girl than others? Yes, of course. Every step of the game 
from a macro level and from a micro level, all have strategy, all have ways of doing things better than others. Most guys just have extremely bad strategy, which leads to extremely bad results. If it were pure looks, then it, you know, all these good looking guys will be getting tons of results. That's not the case. I get lots of good looking guys on the phone that suck. If it were purely looks, uh, we wouldn't have all these average looking guys getting multi hundred lay counts. Okay. And just a simple introspection of any piece of the game whatsoever. There's obviously a better way to do every piece, literally every piece. That's the whole fucking strategy component. That's why if I, it's like tantamount to me just saying like, oh, chess is all looks. It doesn't matter which sequence you move the pieces. It just matters about the, the looks of the player. Okay. What? Right? That, that's absolutely ridiculous. Okay? The, the analogy doesn't completely translate because, you know, if the person was like absolutely deformed, he would have a pretty low shot of dating success. Okay? But that's an extreme exception. For the vast majority of guys, it's not going to play that big of a factor. Okay, and your game is going to be the large part of the equation. That doesn't mean you should ignore your looks. You should still always be trying to optimize and maximize your SMV. But like I said, it's a threshold thing and it's a small part of the equation. Okay, so back to this bullshit. I ain't beta incel or whatever you want to assume. Just a guy who figured out the whole industry is a major marketing scam. That's not true at all. I consistently make guys on the level to do 50 to 100 girls a year. I consistently load up their schedules with dates, okay, starting by week two, starting by week three. These guys are getting five to ten dates a week, guys that weren't ever getting dates before. Guys are sleeping with one to two new girls a week on the program. And I, I have thousands of counterexamples. I have new counterexamples almost daily. I have new counterexamples for sure weekly over the past decade. Okay, so that's why this isn't even a debate. This, there's no debate, does game work or is it just all looks? No, there's no debate at all. Of course game works. I've demonstrated it thousands of times. And just any person with half a brain can look at how there's better ways to do every single part of the game at every level. Okay, and then he's like, do you like my can of smashed assholes? And he's, and he's sending like dumb memes that he wrote with the, with the can. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's keep calling this a, a, a can of smashed assholes. It doesn't even make sense. I'm in terrific shape. I already showed that. This is what these guys do. You show them like direct proof. Yeah, here's 100 hours of Enfield. Oh, it's all fake. Here's me with a great physique. Oh, you're still fat. Can't have smashed assholes. Okay. <laughs> Makes zero sense whatsoever. So I said, let's see how you look, tough guy. Bit ironic that a, that a black pill, black pill shit-talking moron never shows his fucking face. Show everyone the big alpha chat. The majority of my late count, I was skinny as fuck. And I was broke for a lot of that time too. You are way dumber than I thought. So stop hiding, let's see, and no fake pics. And I said, if you think I got black pill wrong, outline the, the main principles and details of what, of, of what black pill embodies and I'll make a response video with all my arguments against the principles and viewpoints. And then, uh, <clears throat> let's see. And then he says, why do you want me to show my face? Don't you pick apart to say looks don't matter, LOL. Again. I've never said looks don't matter. Not nowhere in any video. There's people making response videos. Oh, six foot four white guy says looks don't matter. No, I never said looks don't matter. It's just a very small part of the equation. Okay. Obviously, it matters a lot more on something like Tinder. But the girl responds to survival and replication value. Men respond to female physical attraction circuitry. Okay. So we're sizing up a girl's value in like half a second based on her physical looks. Okay. Women are judging a man based on her survival and replication value, which as mystery says, falls on like five major attraction switches, leader of men, protector of loved ones, willingness to emote and show a range of emotions, adventurous life and pre-selection. Do other hot girls approve of you? Okay. So I replied and said, I never said looks don't matter. Of course they do. They're just not nearly as much of the equation as you think. I get most guys I train very, very good regardless of looks. I said, I want to see your face because you claim black pill is the truth. So let's see what you look like. No response. Okay. So fuck you troll black pill truth loser. Show your fucking face. Stop hiding. Stop being a coward. Stop just being a, a massive beta incel who is going to make a bunch of baseless memes that have no correlation to reality whatsoever. Like the fat can of smashed assholes meme where he's trying to make fun of my lay count. Oh, I banged 1,500. Yeah, I have. I banged 1,369 at the time of this recording. I have more proof of that than anyone in the industry by far. Okay, I have more proof of my results than everyone in the industry combined. Okay, so go ahead and make your memes. They're baseless. But let's see your face. This is an open challenge. 
I know you won't accept it or or he'll post some other, other person's face, okay? He should get on a video. He should come on my channel and show his fucking loser face, okay? And I'm sure he's probably a single digit lay count or still a virgin. He just likes to be a tough guy on the internet. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to learn all the optimal moves at every part of the macro and micro level of the game, please jump on a free 30 minute call with me. The link is in the description. Also, if you are not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below and press the notification bell. I'll learn some new videos every single day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.